Hi, this is Elise Moss with Digital Tutors. And in this video, we're going to explore different view representations. Um, so right now we've got a metal container open. I'm gonna close that just for a sec. Um, I wanna go to projects and I wanna make sure that you've got your project set to Digital Tutors. So if you don't have your project set to do digital tutors, maybe you've been working on other projects, make sure you've got that project active before we start. Now, if you don't have a digital tutors project already set up, go back to that video on how to set up projects in Inventor and make sure that you're set up with digital tutors and you've downloaded all the files so you can work right along with me. And then click on done. And we're gonna go open. And we're going to go to the folder under workspace that says metal container and open the metal container and say open. So here we have a box and it's just got three parts, uh, the box, a gasket, and a lid. And you'll notice I currently have uh, two view representations, one for master and one for studio. And then I have the standard four levels of details available and no positional representations. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a few um, uh, view representations and a couple of, pos and a positional representation so that you can kind of see how that would work in this type of assembly. So first, when you have a box like this, a lot of times you might want to have different colors of boxes. So I'm going to create a view representation and I'm going to say this view representation is going to be magenta. So I just right clicked and went new. And of course the box didn't change. So in order to change the box, I'm going to left click on this box and this lid in the browser. And then I'm going to change the position up here on the toolbar and select magenta. Let's see if we can find a magenta here. And there it is. So now we have a magenta box. And now I'm gonna right click on the view representation again and I'm gonna go new. And I'm gonna change this to um, orange. I know we're picking really yucky colors. Orange. And if you wanna use different colors than me, I always tell my students, feel free. It will not hurt my feelings if you don't like the colors I pick. Um, and I'm going to highlight eBox and eLid. And I'm going to come over and I'm going to change it to orange. Oops, didn't change. Didn't select. Left click. There it is. So there's orange. And you notice I can right click and go activate. And it went, goes magenta. And I right click and go activate. And then it's orange. And when I right click activate on Studio, Studio is the studio color that we started with. And if I right click and activate on master, it's a totally different material. How cool is that? So now I wanna look at my position. I'm gonna add a new position and I'm gonna come up new and I'm gonna say, call this position exploded. All right, now I know you're familiar with presentations, but you can also do some basic presentation using positional, um, positional representation. So here I'm going to go exploded and then I'm going to come over to this flush and I'm going to say modify override and I'm going to say one inch and look at that it exploded out and I'm going to come up to this flush and modify override and I'm going to say one inch. Look at that. So if you want to do a little bit more so it looks a little more like an exploded view um, I'm going to change this to say four inches that when it that went up four inches and I'm going to change this up to two inches see that so you can really see how you can explode it so this one's for the gasket this one's for the top lid I'm going to change the top lid to like oops not six inches 60 six inches so you can really see how it is so let's see so here's my exploded view and notice if I come to a front view you can really see how they're separated. I'm going to go back to an ISO. Um, so I'm in the exploded view. Now if I activate the orange, notice here I've got the orange block box exploded. Then I'm going to right click on the magenta and here's my magenta box exploded. 
So I can do um, a different view showing the magenta box open or closed, depending on which view representation I have set up and which positional representation I have set up. Now, how would this be if I wanted to put this in a drawing? So I would just come over and um, I'm going to save this, but I'm going to do a save as. Um, it says you can't save it when the assembly is in a positional. Would you like to save the master? And I'll say OK. Um, and I'm going to save it as Metal Container 2 so I don't mess up any of the tutorial files. And then I'm going to come over to a drawing. I'm going to create a new drawing. And there's a little pause while Inventor goes out to get the drawing template. Don't get concerned about the pause. That's just Inventor thinking really, really hard. And so here's my drawing resource, resources. I'm going to do a base view. And notice I've got all my view representations and my positional representations. Always want to make sure that I set it to associative. I'm going to set it to um, the current view. And if you're not sure what the current view is, remember you can always come down here and it'll show you what the current view is. And I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to do a magenta and I'm going to do exploded. And I'm going to do shaded and I'm going to say, okay. And there it is. And I'll just move this over. So here's my magenta box exploded. But then I can also do the magenta box in the master position shaded, and there it is in the master position. So I can see my view representation in exploded and my view representation master. Let's do it for the um, orange. So I'm going to say orange, exploded, current, shaded, OK, and there it is. And then I'm going to go orange, master position current, shaded. OK. And there it is. So do you see how I'm mixing and matching different view representations and different positional representations to really leverage how to um, really coolly um, explain my design? So the power of representations, it's just awesome. And I know that as you practice with them, you're going to find more and more ways to use them. So this is Elise Moss with Digital Tutors, and I look forward to showing you more tips, tricks, and fun techniques.